Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have finally received my Trend Mood Volume 7, little sneak peek. And I'm really excited about this one. I just wish it hadn't taken so long to get here. I feel like I am the last person on the planet to finally get this box. But I'm here in Alabama and I get everything late. Um, also, this is from a gradual tan, my hands. Like, what the heck? Like, this this was one use of a gradual tan and I washed my hands. I'm like, I tried two different scrubs, one with glycolic acid. It's not budging. Okay, so that's what it is. First off, there's cute little leaves in the box. Okay, so I've not gotten every single box that has come out, but I have gotten, I think, maybe half of them. But I missed out on the Black Own Beauty Brands one, which I was really sad about because that one was amazing, but it wasn't one of the volumes. So, so far there's been volumes one through six. Now I have volume seven. This one was $63, and even just a couple of the items from the box are going to add up to $63 very quickly. So I do feel like it's a good deal. One of the reasons why I love these boxes so much is because there's new items items in it which is what you know trend mood was all about when it was started was letting you know about new makeup and beauty and the first couple items that were shown I was like oh yes give it to me right now but you know as the reveal started coming I got a little less and less excited but there was enough good stuff right up front to definitely like keep my interest so I'm actually going to just go one by one and we're going to try them out we're going to start with the Bosha Berry Blend Smoothing Facial with 28% Acid Complex now I believe you do leave this on for a bit so I'm actually gonna put this on and go do a couple things that I need to do we'll come back and really get into everything else it says it's supercharged radiance boosting facial mask with 28% acid complex intensely refines and resurfaces lackluster skin for a visibly dramatic smooth and youth enhanced complexion so you use a generous layer on dry skin leave on for 20 minutes you experiencing a tingling sensation gently rinse and remove excess with a damp cloth one to two times per week so with AHA I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you I'm probably gonna get red. That's just my skin So please don't be alarmed if that starts to happen But I am really excited to try it and I typically do really enjoy Bosha products It's been a while since I've purchased anything, but I haven't there just haven't been a lot of launches there I'm like, oh, I have to have that but this was definitely very intriguing. Oh Okay, it doesn't smell like Like anything super strong kind of like a little medicinal a little bit fruity smelling Is that, I don't know if that makes any sense try not to get this like all over the place and under my nails and all that I just had to go in with my fingers you know sometimes just what you need to do all right, so there you have it. Just so you guys can see, I don't know if it'll be a really good representation, but it has like little bits in it, which I assume are just ingredients, but it feels very comfortable on my skin so far. Um, I'm sure that I will flush a little bit, but that's my skin, period. And this is cute packaging as well. It's got like that soft feeling plastic. So I'm excited to leave this on for a few minutes and we will be back shortly and we'll talk about the other items. All right, we're back and my skin is feeling really smooth, but I have to say, I'm not as red as I normally get with these type of products that are meant to like resurface, that have chemical exfoliators. My face feels good and it feels like a little, I don't know how to put this, like, like, refreshed but it didn't really do like a major tingle or anything so I'm actually like really impressed with my first time use because my skin feels great afterwards which sometimes it's like it's a little much but this one was really good so that one goes for $44 I was actually trying to look up a lot of these prices I can't find all of them in like one place I was hoping that one of the trend mood box posts actually had like all the values but I either missed it or it's not there so whatever it's fine the next one I know is $42 and I'm really excited I think this was the item that like cinched the idea that like yes I'm gonna get this box because for $42 it's the glow recipe plum plum hyaluronic serum for deep hydration and glow I just love glow recipe I actually just ordered a duo that they have on their website for the berry balance cleanser and the new papaya makeup remover so I'm really excited to get that so $42 like I said and the box being 63 so I feel like for 20 more bucks why not just get the box when I already know I want the serum so oh, it's a little bit smaller than I thought but it's so 
so cute oh my god so it's like a little plum if you can see it's got a little seam so it's shaped just like a plum super super cute so let's go ahead and pump some of this on of course it has hyaluronic acid you know from it being a hyaluronic serum it says it's your go-to serum for plump radiant skin it's a silky water gel serum a unique blend of three types of plum which include vitamin c rich kakadu i'm gonna guess helps boost skin for a youthful appearance with hyaluronic acid and vegan collagen and delivers protective antioxidants oh wow it has five weights of hyaluronic acid so if you don't know that just means like it's sometimes different sizes penetrate different areas of the skin better um i know that much to be true but i know it works better when you have multiple sizes yeah targeting different layers of the skin added firming vegan plant collagen and silk protein skin is hydrated instantly and throughout the day okay so you use one to two pumps before moisture so i'm just going to go ahead it pumps a little bit Ooh! I freaking love this bottle like I love that every like packaging kind of has its own thing like the pineapple serum looks like a pineapple um, the avocado kind of looks like that too so oh let's try this oh I'm not smelling anything at all which I'm totally fine with I know some of their stuff smells really really good so you may like that but no scent with this one that I can discern but one tiny little piece of a pump I used it up. This sinks in really nicely. Like it feels like my skin just drank it right up. So that's what I love. Okay. It feels like a little bit of tackiness, but my skin definitely already feels a lot more hydrated after using that mask. So really quickly, I'm going to just hydrate my skin and moisturize before I go onto these other products. I'm just using a Caudalie moisturizer. It's the Vino Active 3-in-1 moisturizer. So if you're curious what I'm using, and obviously not in the box, just something I'm using right now. Okay, we're gonna keep it like that for now because um, I am gonna do some makeup. So we've got a couple of lip products and then we also have an eye product. But first, I wanna try out this from Nude Sticks. I'm gonna try it on bare skin and just see how it looks and then we may use it afterwards as well. This is the Nudies Glow All Over Face Highlighter and it's the shade Bubbly, I'm gonna get baby. This B-E-B-E. -B -E. Balm with soft metallic glow for glassy skin. Dab on high points of face for a dewy highlight. So let's just try it on bare skin so we can see. Oh, let me swatch it on my hand because... Okay, uh, yeah, this looks like it was going to be like much darker than it is. So that's what it looks like. Ooh, on the hand. <gasps> Holy crap. The other end does have a brush. It might be a little bit dark on my like extremely pale skin that I have right now, but you guys totally get the gist what I'm going for here. So I put a little bit down the nose, but I feel like even if, even if you are fairer like me, but especially if you're any darker, I think this would be beautiful on its own because it's got like this beautiful little sheen to it. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, I may use this again and show you guys that in a different way. Let's go ahead and try one of these lip products now because when I come back, we can try the other one with a little bit more makeup on. So this is the Nude Sticks as well. So you actually got two Nude Sticks products, which I do like their brand a lot. I feel like I haven't invested in enough of their stuff because it's really good. So this is the Lip Glay. I never know. Is it Glossé if it's got a C in it? It says it's a moisturizing lip oil with a non-sticky shine infused with lip plumping peptides, hydrating shea, cocoa, and avocado butters. Ooh, perfect nudes. So this is Nude 06. It looks like it's more like maybe mauve Oh, that's pretty. Judging by the tube, I was expecting something like way darker and more pigmented. It's like kind of minty, but it kind of reminds me of like an Andes mint, <laughs> like minty chocolate. That's the only mint chocolate that I like, by the way, Andy's Mints. I love them. That's really, really cute. Like, look how fresh this looks. Like, mascara, and I could probably just walk out and go do my grocery shopping or whatever. So, this is really, really cute. I'm actually impressed with everything so far. So, I'm going to go snap on a face with some brows, and we've got an eye product and a lip product to try. So, we're not done yet. So, stick around, and I'll see you in a second. All right, so I did use the Nude Sticks Nudies Glow a little bit more, but I also put powder highlighter over top, but you could actually see this kind of peeking through the foundation and the powder. So if you want something really subtle, do it under makeup. You could definitely use it over makeup, but I love the way that it looks on its own. I think it's so, so pretty. All right, so next up, we've got the Becca Light Gleam Primer and Top. 
Copper Liquid Eyeshadow. When I saw Becca, I was like, mm, you know, it's not really that exciting to me. I feel like they just haven't done anything. Like, any palette they've put out, I thought was pretty bad. Like, face, eyes, anything. They have beautiful highlighters, but like, it kind of stops there. And I do like their glosses. I have a few of their glosses. So, we're going to see how this goes. Now, this is the shade Red Star. It's got like this burnt brick red and then this like coppery golden. So, we're going to try this out. Now, it is meant to be used, I believe, to put like the matte shade underneath. Um, it says it's to illuminate eyes like never before. A pigmented primer saturates lids in a base of rich color. The other applies a hyper-reflective top coat of ir iridescent pearls that bend light for a multi-dimensional finish where separately or layered, they work in tandem for a color-shifting chrome finish. So it says you can wear them separately, but I think I saw somebody say that the um, glittery part doesn't show up that well on its own, but let's see. I'll go ahead and swatch them first. Ooh, it is really, really pigmented. Oh, it is pretty. Okay. So yeah, it's definitely more of a copper shade with the brick red. So it's pretty, but ooh, they are pretty pigmented in color. I didn't know what to expect. So because it says it's a primer, I'm not going to prime my lids beforehand and we're just going to see how it goes. I'll do a quick application. This should be really easy. So I'm just going to start with a little bit, kind of just coating the lid and see how it blends out because I don't know what to expect. That actually blends really nicely. Okay, I just wanted a little bit more now that I know how it's going. I feel like these actually feel better than the Huda ones. The Huda, I think, dries a little matte too fast. I'm just trying to skip a little bit over here, but still doing pretty good. Wow, well, how simple and fast. Itch. That's kind of crazy. I mean, if you're on the go and you need to do a quick eye, like, that's pretty impressive. I'm gonna put a little teensy bit in the middle of my lid and just see. Okay, it doesn't have a lot of impact. Like, it does reflect a little bit, but I was hoping for more of like a halo eye effect, but it really kind of is, I don't know, blending with the color in a way. It is really pretty, but it's just not quite the effect. Like, they're not like a Stila glitter that are like, wow, in your face, so much shine. Let's just see. Okay, that one doesn't want to pick up and blend, but that's okay. I think it looks really pretty. It does, like, move better with the finger. It just isn't as even, if that makes sense. But it looks so shiny on the finger, but then on the eye, it's not having the same impact. I'm just going to bust out another eye and match it up. Wow, Becca's kind of making me eat my words right now. This actually looks so cute. Um... Wow. All right, so as you can see, I put a little bit under my lower lash line and turned out a little bit darker. I think I could have gone with a little less and just blended it faster, but I do have to say, wow. This is completely off topic, but I love, and I've been using almost every day, this BH Cosmetics Power Pencil in Beige. Like, this is not a sponsored thing or anything. I didn't get it for free, I bought it. But if you want something light in the waterline, but not white, something a little bit creamier, this, is amazing and so look at the difference it makes so there you go I just love it and I just thought I would mention it because I haven't mentioned it in a video so anyway we have one more item and this is the P. Louise boarding pass <laughs> that's what it says it says passenger bad bitch departing from your comfort zone to destination success departure time the time is now it's a lip duo but what is this actually called send nudes so this is a pencil and lipstick duo so let's take a look this lipstick is like hefty it's a metal component has a little magnet so here is the nude lipstick i just remembered i have an elf lipstick in the refrigerator because it came and it was like sweating and almost melted so just offhand the nudes look kind of different but i think it's going to be nice for an ombre so let's give it a try now, it definitely looks more like the lipstick once I start applying it. 
I wiped most of that gloss off. It just like stayed around as like very um, comforting to the lips. So I can see like the oils coming through. I will say this, this is definitely a creamy enough pencil that if you like to do a lip pencil all over and then maybe a little gloss, that will definitely work because it's pretty creamy. It's not like a very dry or matte lip pencil, which I kind of prefer a more matte pencil if I'm being 100% honest, but this isn't bad. Like, I don't dislike this at all. It's just usually like, I don't know, the mattes tend to stay around a little bit better. All right, the moment of truth. So let's see this. This is the shade Heights. I guess this is the shade highs. So let's see. Ugh, this isn't really my color. All right, so I don't think this lip color is the most flattering on me. And it does kind of go with the eye though. Like I'm not, you know, the combination isn't bad, but I do feel like that for me, a little bit cooler nudes work better. And this just looks a little bit too orangey. Not my favorite, but I do like the formula. I would be tempted to get other colors if there was something more of a like a mauve or a pink nude um, or even like a cool tone nude but you know it's okay this is cute it goes with certain looks and I'll definitely reach for it I do like the box how it's a little boarding pass too that's really cute so all in all I'm still very happy with my trend mood box I have to say that the skincare items are so far like blowing me away both of the nude sticks products are really nice and I do feel like they deserve a lot more attention than they get because their products are really good um, the lip products that you just saw are very nice just maybe not my favorite color but what are you gonna do and then I will say the Becca eye product has really kind of impressed me and made me eat my words a little bit because I do think these are nice you're just not gonna get like the same Stila glitter effect every brand's been trying to do that forever the mattes and these actually blend out really really well I mean if they're consistent this is amazing I mean it looks like I spent you know a half hour trying to blend a powder eyeshadow out so I would definitely be interested to try other colors in this I'm not gonna lie hmm. so that's it for the unboxing and try on I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for hanging with me and I'll see you in my next one bye guys